My name is Barb Lauer. I am the senior training advisor in the DRG Center. I'm also the coordinator of the last two weeks of events as well as today's events. Hi, I'm Jerry Lavery. I am the technical director of SEPS. And I'm really happy to be here this morning. We are, uh, we know, you know, you look at the post, you look at what's going on in our world today, we know how many things are going on and how many priorities you have today, which makes me incredibly both excited and grateful that you have chosen to spend your day with us today. So thank you. Jerry and I are going to go over a few details and uh, then just a few challenges for you for what we're looking at for today. First is the agenda. Everyone who took, your survey, took the survey last March, thank you. Today's agenda is based on your results and also your comments for how you would like the day to go. So thank you. One of the things we heard loudest from partners and DRG officers is that you really wanted to cover uh, a couple of topics. The main one everybody talked about was this whole resur resurgence of the authoritarian regimes. And what does that mean in our space of working both politically and sensitively, yet being very supportive of what's going on? We also, throughout the day, have two sessions that are breakouts. In each of those breakouts, there's a couple of options. There's six options for how you want to spend your time. A couple of those are big picture that relate to everyone in the room. A couple of them are focused on just technical areas. And then a couple are just as professionals. And how can we be the strongest professionals that we want to be, especially in this space? Something that's not on the agenda that just came up is while we know in the agenda the administrator is opening for us in a few minutes, we're closing today with a deputy administrator, uh, Bonnie Glick. She, I think that's just a sign of the importance of DRG in the world and to USAID today. So just wanted to recognize she will be joining us. After her, uh, after her closing, we will have a happy hour out there. She will join us for that, and I hope all of you will join as well. The one other thing you're going to see in your books and on the tables are evaluations, just like we took it real seriously about you giving us from the survey. Please let us know how you're liking today, what you don't like, what's going on, whether it works for you or not. So thank you very much for following that. There's a couple of interesting things we're doing in this time. We have Mark back there who is doing graphic recording. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Mark. Mark will be capturing the most important messages of the day, and uh, we will use that as we're moving forward. The other thing is on the table out there, there was these ribbons. The ribbons are used for, pick the ones both technically and personally that are interesting to you, and use them as a way of networking, getting to know people. Let me hand it over to Jerry. Great. Thanks so much, Barb. All right. All right. Um, so you're probably wondering. What do Herman Cain and the 999 plan have to do with the 2019 DRG Partners Forum? I promise we'll get to that. Don't worry, I am actually at the right conference as well. I'm not going to regale you with um, <clears throat> exciting tales of tax reform. And I'll circle back to Herman in a, in a bit. So as we've already established, I am not Herman Cain. I am Jerry Lavery. Part of why I believe I am here today, why USAID asked me to kick off these festivities, is that they know that I've attended many of these, these forums over the years, uh, both while I was with USAID, but also as an implementer. Having worn both of these hats, I would like to think I have some insights into strategies for making sure we all make the most of today. This is a great opportunity that we're all in here. I'm very excited not to be tethered to my desk today. It's so great to see so many familiar faces in this room. I want us all to take full advantage of this opportunity. I am also very grateful for USAID for making this now an annual event as opposed to a biannual partners conference. So it's fantastic that I saw many of the same faces in this room last year, and it's great to see you all again this year. All right, so getting back to Herman Cain and the 999 plan. So Herman inspired me to create what I call Lavery's three double C's plan for ensuring that we all get the most out of today's conference. I promise you it's not quite as lengthy as the 999 plan. We won't get into the tax reform bit. 
but I'm just going to try to give you some helpful pointers, I hope at least, that I think will help me at least maximize um, what I hope to get out of the conference today, and hopefully that will prove helpful for all of you as well. All right, so the first set of double C's, be community focused and collegial. We need to recognize that we have shared goals and responsibilities. We're all committed to working for democracy and to making democracy work. We're colleagues and partners. This is an opportunity for us to have genuine dialogue today, right? It's so great to see folks face to face. Be engaged. This is, in fact, a community. In order for it to remain vibrant, we need all of you to be active participants. Looking around this room, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue today, but I encourage you all to be engaged. Network, obviously that's a big reason why we do this as well. It's so great to catch up with lots of old friends. It's also important for us all to make new friends today as well. All right, so moving on to the second set of CCs. Be constructive rather than critical. It's much easier, as we all know, to identify problems and complain than it is to put forward workable solutions. Respect different perspectives. We're not all going to see eye to eye on everything, and that's perfectly okay. Different perspectives make our community stronger in the end. It's also important that we use this as an opportunity to commiserate a bit. As we're going to discuss, these are challenging times for democracy. These challenging times make the work that we do more important now than ever. But this is the community where we can share our grievances and the struggles that we're having. And I'm really looking forward to the agenda and the discussions that we have set forward for the rest of the day. Uh, these events I always find a bit cathartic, frankly, right? You're my people, and I can share my hopes, aspirations, and dreams with all of you. And I hope that you all do that as well going forward. It's also important that we be realistic, but also ambitious. We're not going to be able to solve all of the problems in the sector today. But if we can move the conversation forward, that's a big win in and of itself. And I'm confident we'll be able to do that. Last set of CCs in my plan is be create, courageous and creative. It's much easier to share success stories than it is to discuss challenges. But we often learn as much, if not more, from our failures than we do from our successes. So on that bit, I encourage everybody to share lessons learned, which include not just the successes, but also the challenges that we all face, and some of the obstacles to success, right? So be creative. Explore new topics or new approaches to old problems. Step out of your comfort zone. Go to a session or topic you're unfamiliar with. That's a great opportunity that we all face in this. There's, frankly, too many interesting topics for us to attend all of them. So I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone a bit. The last bit, and this should not be a problem in this crowd, but we should all have fun, right? As I mentioned, it's great that we're actually doing this every year now. I look forward to these events every year. This is a really great crowd. And I'm hoping that we can all make the best use of this time today. And with that, I'm sure that we'll make the agenda. Um, the agenda is great, and we'll make the event a success. So thank you all for your time, and hopefully these little, little pointers are helpful going forward. Thank you. A few thank yous. Right now, here's a, just a question for this group. How many organizations are represented in this room? Give me a number. 50? 100? 60? 110. As you're looking around, there's 110 organizations uh, represented by almost 200 partner representatives. I'm going to ask another question, but I'm going to ask the USAID people to not respond to this. How many countries are represented in this room by USAID representatives? Come on. <laughs> Give a number. 65, 40? Right in between those, 51. <laughs> 51 countries. We believe we have DRG programming. It, it, it's, uh, we say believe because it's a little, a little squishy. In about 70. So almost all of our countries are represented here today. Thank you. The second, so thank you for all of you for making that time. The second is all of the co-leads, the conference people who have spent the time and energy preparing these sessions today. We will have 20 different sessions from plenaries and breakouts. So that's at least 40. Uh, and so just a deep thank you for those of you who, who put time into that. Every session is co-led by a partner and USAID. That's not only important for today, that is important for how we operate as a community, that we must be side to side in this work. So thank you for that. The last thank you I want to do is, is Jen here? 
I see. Okay. There is a group of people who have worked tirelessly for months putting this together. The contract is called Grow, and they are led by Jen Collins Foley, who is out, out there working. All of the Grow team have blue, blue uh, name tags, so if you need anything today, please reach out to them. So please give a round of applause for everybody we just thanked. Thank you.